Hey people, this is Stormland. Thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Today I'm going to be drinking something that uh, kind of has a... I, I, I couldn't say special place in my heart, but I guess I can say I have a, a fond memory of this one here. Um, today we got Sol. Um, it's a 4.5% ABV at 330 milliliters per bottle here. Um, it says Cerveza Importada, which means uh, imported beer. Uh, it's in Spanish. Uh, it is from Mexico! Mexico! Um, yeah, you got your typical old Sol cap. Now, it could be, it could be pronounced Sol, Sol Soleil. Um, you gotta realize that there's a little bit of a hyphenation there. Or it could be pronounced Sol. Uh, the reason why I was talking about the memory behind this kind of is because back in the day, I, I still remember grade. As soon as I turned 19, I don't, I don't remember what grade that was in. I, I'm sorry, but I don't remember. I decided that I was going to try different types of beers. I used to go to the LCBO and come back home with a six pack, and I would have a different type of beer um, in every pocket. And I remember when I tried this, I remember thinking it was incredibly nasty because I, I couldn't believe uh, the overwhelming aroma of skunk that came out of this beer. For the first time in my life is uh, when I experienced uh, such skunk from a beer. And uh, for those who, who don't really know this beer uh, very well, it is considered Corona's cousin. Uh, cousin. Um, it tastes very much like Corona, except it is a lot skunkier. I'm going to be drinking out of my St. Ambrose McCausland Brewery branded glass. Lots of uh, smoke there, clearly. And uh, let's see how she goes. Don't have to worry about head on this one. It's practically like a Pilsner. I've got that typical lager color. Uh, very reddish. Sorry, geez, I can't believe I said that. Um, very yellow looking. Uh, I used to when I first started reviewing beers, I used to say it was a weedy uh, looking color because, you know, anyway. It's so funny because when I smelled skunk back then, it's an unbelievable aroma. I, I'm just so used to smelling skunk in beers that I can almost not pick up pick up on the skunk. But that is all you smell. You smell just the skunk and the head is gone. Now, believe it or not, another thing that I can say about this is that it actually tastes a little bit more watered down than uh, your Corona. Um, I would definitely recommend uh, embracing this beer with a, a lemon or a lime uh, slice on, on the corner of the glass after, of course, squeezing it in. That's how these beers are meant to be drank. They do not come with lime, they do not come with lemon, um, because that's only something that recently started coming out today. You know, you got Bud Lime, you got all these other kinds of limes and lemon beers out there now. Um, let's, let's, quite frankly, this is the original recipe, right? And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people would much rather prefer a fresh sliced lemon or fresh sliced lime uh, to go with their beer. Plus, the, the, the decoration on the glass, of course, makes a, a huge difference before you even take the sip. Everybody drinks and eats with their eyes before it comes to their mouth. Uh, you know what? There's really not much to it, though. Very little to no looking carbonation in that glass. Um, as you can see, no, almost no bubbles going up. You can see very little bubbles very little. It looks like there's more bubbles on the camera than there does in person. Anyways, it's Sol. Uh, there's not much to it. It's a very skunky beer. Um, I'd almost say it tastes like a Pilsner, but it doesn't have as much of that grittiness or uh, that bite, uh, so to speak, uh, that you would normally have 
so that's it. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Sorry, uh, 4 out of 10. Um, and that's probably going to end up being my final rating right there. So for those who uh, visit my reviews quite often, thank you very much. For those who don't, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, don't drink and drive, people. Drink responsibly, all right? Cheers.